Last night, Republican presidential candidates took to the stage in Detroit for the party's 11th debate. Donald Trump, Marco Rubio, John Kasich and Ted Cruz mainly went back and forth over national and international issues and only briefly touched on issues in northern Michigan. 9 and 10's David Lydon was at the heated debate in Detroit and continues our team coverage today. The, the numbers are there. Here's what the numbers also say. Two-thirds of the people who have cast a vote in a Republican primary or caucus have voted against you. They do not want you to be our nominee. He referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee it. Right. Almost immediately, fireworks to start the GOP debate in Detroit. I beat Hillary Clinton in many polls. I beat Hillary Clinton in many polls. If you're our nominee, excuse me, I think I'm talking. I'm talking. Mostly between Donald Trump and Marco Rubio, something that's become a common theme in recent weeks. Second point, you see what happens again when you challenge him on a policy issue. You ask him about the economy, and the first thing he does is launch an attack about some little guy thing. Because he doesn't have answers, no, and he's no, asking us to answer. make him the president of the United Believe States me. of America. Through the bickering, Trump spent time discussing trade and standing by many of the policies he's laid out during this campaign. But if you look at China, and if you look at Japan, and if you look at Mexico, both at the border, by the way, where they're killing us, both at the border and with trade, and every other country we do business with, we are getting absolutely crushed on trade. Ted Cruz, after a strong Super Tuesday showing, tried to assert himself as the strongest on foreign policy and best for the middle class. This is not about what attacks we can throw at each other. This is the people at home who are struggling. Through seven years of Barack Obama, this is the single moms who are working two and three jobs, 28, 29 hours a week, because their hours have been forcibly reduced because of Obamacare. This is the truck drivers and the steel workers and the mechanics with calluses on their hands. John Kasich, hoping for a victory next Tuesday in Michigan, touted his job creation in Ohio and painted himself as a uniter among a party now appearing fractured. What I want the people to know is, I know how to bring people together, Republicans and Democrats. I have successfully, both at the federal level and the state level, brought economic growth, wage growth, and, and economic security to this country. Protesters outside also made their voices heard. And Democrats say tonight's debate is a sign the Republican nominee should not be the next president. Republicans are going to have to settle this civil war that they have going on in their party. And I think it's not an overstatement to say that this is a civil war. You have a, a prominent members of the Republican Party saying that they will never vote for Donald Trump, even though he's leading uh, in the race to be the presidential nominee. After the debate, Trump said he sees his campaign only moving closer to an eventual nomination. I have gotten so many calls from people at the highest levels of the party wanting to come onto the campaign, but so many people are calling wanting to be a part of it because what we have is a movement. Michigan voters head to the polls Tuesday to cast their primary votes. In Detroit, David Lydon for Michigan. The